Hi everyone, my name is Jeff. Hi, my name is Alyssa. Hey guys, my name is Karen. Hi, my name is Jillian. Hi, my name is Tia. Hi, I'm Jenny. And I study computer science and statistics. I'm studying global health and physiology. I'm doing a major in East Asian studies with a double minor in linguistics and music history and culture. I'm a second year in computer science. Laboratory medicine and pathobiology specialist, physiology major and immunology major. Double major in sociology and human geography. When I was choosing my courses, I thought a lot about um, what I wanted my schedule to be like. So on Fridays, I didn't want class, so I just purposely looked for classes that didn't happen on Fridays, and and that, that just happened to work out. <laughs> because I already had the transfer credits, I decided to just um, take the prerequisites for all the life science courses, and then take what I could of the second year life science core program. So after first semester, I realized that I'm not a night student. I cannot handle six to nine on the evenings. So I basically had to reschedule my second semester because I knew that I'd fall asleep if it's something between six to nine, three hours straight. So I take a lot of this description. What did they talk about? And what are the prerequisites? I considered things that I thought I would be interested in, such as economics and psychology. And those are also things that would fill my breath requirements. Um, Turns out I wasn't interested in them, but that's something that you can learn. <laughs> or something I would do differently, which I learned afterwards, was how many different courses there actually were that catered to my interests. I wish I, I, wish I knew that when I was picking my breadth requirement courses. I wish I researched a bit more or talked to upper years a bit more. Use all of your resources. Use the Facebook groups, talk to upper years, talk to administration of your college. There's always people to help, so make sure you use that. I think what surprised me was just how many choices and out of courses we have and how so many courses have a lot of different times you're really responsible for picking your own it's not like high school where everything's kind of picked for you in university you're entirely responsible for making your own schedule up here's are a great resource they've taken the course below before they know what to expect um, the Facebook group um, obviously go to the registrar's office they're great help over there on uh, U of T reddit as well make sure you're picking what you're interested in, not just something that you know just fits or something that like sounds easy or something like that. No, no courses here are easy. They're all going to be challenging. So you want to pick something that suits you. I went to the academic orientations, and they talked a lot about how to pick your courses, and that helped me a lot in terms of picking the courses, but also in getting to know some of the people who would might be in the same courses as me. There will be at least a bunch of people saying. Oh, that course was so terrible, or I hated that course, or it was so bad I cried. Um, because there's always going to be um, really hard courses, but don't be afraid of them. Make sure to know the time that you can enroll your course. So if you're having a different time zone, pay attention like what time you're going, you're allowed to log in. I'm from BC, so I didn't know a ton about U of G. I pretty much just looked on the course calendar, which like actually sucks. And I feel like people should definitely reach out and ask because I found out so many things after that that I had no idea about. If you don't have an upper year handy, uh, you should definitely um, consult your registrar's office. They'd be happy to sit down and talk to you. Professors aren't really that scary once you get to talk to them, usually, most of the time.